guys, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create vector objects. So first thing you have to do is going to the top left bar and um, on the plus you can see two options, the vector and the pencil. Um, so the pencil tool allows you to create some uh, freeform objects. So as you can see, I just draw it and uh, once I, I deselect it with the ISK button, um, you can see that now I have uh, this shape with uh, all the vector points, which uh, you can freely change. Um, and this is a very quick way to do some uh, uh, freehand uh, uh, kind of vector. And uh, it's usually it's used when uh, you're having a, a Wacom tablet or a, any sort of tablet which gives you more uh, precision and uh, freedom to really go into the details. Uh, the second one, it's uh, the vector tool. And um, as you can see, I can just uh, click and uh, I can create points. So these are all vector points. And uh, if I click and uh, hold the, uh, the mouse button clicked, you can create these uh, shapes which uh, can be really useful. And um, yeah, you can simply go on and uh, do all, all the shape and uh, eventually close it. And um, yeah, this is pretty much the basic of it. You can also change the border at this point. You can add a fill uh, of any kind. And uh, yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty customizable. Um, we can just double click afterwards and uh, you can reaccess these points and uh, modify them. So it's a very useful thing if you're into illustrations or making icons or all sorts of uh, other um, UI related projects. So yeah, this is it for this uh, tutorial and I'll see you in the next one.